What's up, Algebra 2? Um, obviously, uh, I'm the grading is well more overwhelming than I realized for this week. I, I thought about it for a second because I really never realized how many of you there were. There's like 42 of you, which is gigantic. So I did the numbers really quickly, and it's something like 3,300. That'd be 3,300 problems to grade this week. So in order to get them back to you much faster, which I'd totally be willing to give you uh, long explanations of everything you did wrong, which is what I've been doing, and then I realized it takes 10 years to do that. And some of you are probably like, I don't care. I just missed two of them. It's no big deal. Just give me a one note, and I'm happy with it. So what I'm going to do instead, to, in order to get them finished so that you can see them, because that's really the whole point of it, right? That way you know if you did it right or wrong, and you're trying to wait to see if I'll get them graded before the test. So I'm going to try to move much faster. And the way I'm going to do that is to cut down on the amount of feedback that I give you. Instead, I'm going to offer the opportunity to maybe take a look and see if you're interested in like asking a question about what you missed. Um, if you're not interested in asking a question, that's fine. But instead of doing the here's what you miss on every single problem and some narrative about it, I'm just going to do uh, much simpler grading. But if you have a question about what you missed, ask and I will promise you that I'll answer it as the best I possibly can. So um, I just didn't want you to have to sit there and wait so I could grade everyone and then half the people don't read it or whatever. I don't know how deep you go into what your error patterns are, but I tend to obsess over them, so I'm trying not to obsess. Uh, basically, I'm going to go through and grade. So if you have an incorrect answer, which is more than one part incorrect, um, I'm going to put the circle there right there. So that's what you're used to seeing probably when you miss. Uh, the other side of it is I tend to put a half in certain places and watch the video about where you can see the information that I put on your paper. And if not, I'll just type it in as a comment. Uh, so from now on, if you miss more than one part of it, I'm going to put a circle. And if you miss, uh, like the graph is the wrong direction, something like that, I'll put the slash. And the slash could represent that your answer is supposed to be negative and it's positive. It could be a slash, but at least it gives you an idea that it's probably either in the last step or very early on. I, common errors I've seen so far, uh, make sure you keep your signs organized when you do distributive property. Make sure that, uh, which is the biggest thing I think. And also make sure that you're not combining like terms on the same side by using opposite operations. If you have drawn the line and you have a negative 6 and a positive 5 on the same side of the line, you just do negative 6 plus 5. That's one of the big things that really has gotten people. Uh, I should mention the third thing which happens a lot was that you grade backwards. If you have, or you graph backwards. If you have a if you have this statement here, A is next to the greater end. So that means the graph should start at 6 and go greater. Not the way the arrow points. That whole arrow pointing thing is nonsense. And it's in the video and I talk about how I don't like it. So just be aware that it's wrong. <clears throat> I mean, mathematically it's wrong. I'm not saying you're a bad person. I'm just saying mathematically it's incorrect. So make sure you look for that stuff. So long story short, you'll get a grade. You'll get some zeros if I can write it on there. And a slash means that only one part's wrong. It's usually the way that the graph's going. And it should give you feedback much faster that you can actually use. And if you have questions, ask. And maybe if one goes really badly, you'll have a chance to resubmit and I won't have told you so much that I feel like I need to give you a different assignment. You could just fix the ones that you missed and that would work super better and all that. So I wanted to try to make sure I got them done uh, you know, by the least Thursday so that you could see everything in case you wanted to take the test. Sorry it's taken so long, but I just didn't realize like how much that I would go on and on about your any little thing that you did. Not picking at you, just so you know, so you could see uh, your error pattern. But if you're more interested, ask for more information. And if you're not, I'll save us all some time and get uh, through that much quicker.